Uh, I really did the memo about this being like a three minute speech, so it's gonna be a little bit longer, so strap in. Um, but I hope you listen the whole time, because I think it's, it's our. Um, yeah, my name's Adam, I'm Charlie Price. Um, I've been lucky enough to play three seasons of Packer basketball and four seasons of soccer, um, the last two of which I, I captained the team. Um, and I like to think that I've learned something from every different team, you know, each sport I've played. And I could, you know, use all my time up here speaking about the impact of mentorship and relationships with teammates uh, and the passion I have for soccer and basketball. But I think Sophie did a really good job of, of covering all that. And I, I won't be redundant, but so to my best friend of 18 years, love you. Great job. Um, what immediately came to my mind uh, when I was asked to make this speech was what I learned about the sort of double-edged sword of expectations in sports. Um, for most of my life, I thought expectations were kind of what fueled me to train each summer in the August heat, get up at 5.15 a.m. to make it to Pier 5 for preseason. Um, expectations were what made me okay with getting my ass kicked by Rob, guarding Robbie Young every day of the week. Um, <laughs> But I realized that expectations are a little bit different than goals, and that expectations can actually be pretty insidious. Um, this year's boys varsity soccer team, I think, is a good example. We struggled through the halfway point of the season. Um, what I would describe as our breaking point was a 6-2 loss against Dwight, uh, a game in which I'm sure people will mention that I got a red card in. Um, and things just weren't really clicking. Um, as a captain, it was hard for me to accept the losses that came with the, the passing weeks. Just you know, because the season before my my team the, the team got undefeated in league play and, and won the, the playoff championship. And I think the other seniors expected this year's squad to play the same style of soccer as last year's. We expected that our motivational efforts would be easily transferable to the 2023 team. Uh, and quite frankly. I think we expected another perfect record and another trophy. Um, and it took me a while to realize that instead of taking hold of the season, which I was playing, I was, I was kind of living in the past in my memory. Um, and it was only when Ryan Grisby, um, with his contagiously joyful attitude towards basically everything in life, which I think all of us can observe, uh, it took him dancing around pregame at Riverdale and repeating his newfound mantra about staying loose that I realized uh, how this season of Packers soccer should be different than the 2022 campaign. Um, and ultimately, it, it took a lot of trust between our teammates uh, for the approach of staying loose to actually work. Sometimes I think you know, that can get confused with not working hard. Um, they're not the same thing. And I, I think staying loose and letting the expectations fall away were the reasons that we snuck into the AC playoffs as a four seed and upset the one and two seeds to win the championship. Uh, uh, during a season uh, of playing sport, there, there's no way to avoid these kind of unexpected things. And I, I'm sorry to say to those, uh, those of us in here who are sports bet, that's why you keep losing your money. Because um, you cannot, you don't know what to expect, right? Uh, but seriously, you don't expect your best player to go down with a potentially season-ending wrist injury in the beginning of the year, and you don't expect to be, to be back in the next week. You don't expect Rohan Patel, of all people, to get thrown out of the championship game. <laughs> very insecure on the team. Uh, you don't expect a five-foot-two freshman, my little sister, uh, to bulldoze girls on the soccer field who are twice her size. <laughs> Julian Gavishar never expected the, uh, the backdoor cut on Kansas to work, and that's why uh, he cut hard every time, and those became automatic points. Um, although I do have to say there are, there are some givens. I think you can expect Lucia to make at least three or four threes a game. You can expect Caritzis to bag at least 20 goals a season, and you can definitely expect Enzo to take his shirt off when he scores a goal. And, you know, so I learned. I think because I was taking success for granted and victories kind of became an expectation, I was living neither the past or the future when things got rough, and it, things always get rough in sports. Um, 
I sacrificed the present and risked not reaching the goals I had set for myself and the team. Um, and I'm really thankful to the Packer boys for helping me, you know, learn not how to live in my head. And I, I learned it's okay to visualize and beneficial to set goals, but the act of just expecting things to occur is, I think, cavalier and kind of lazy. Um, and you know, the best thing about learning lessons from sports is that they're almost always widely applicable. So my last paragraph is, is about that. Seniors, I would caution us all against the expecting the transition away from home to be without major difficulties. Uh, underclassmen, I would caution you against you know thinking next year is going to be easy without the seniors in their leadership roles. Um, don't expect perfection in your friends or romantic partners or parents, children. Um, live here and now because that is the only place you can ever make the memories you're going to look back on eventually. And most importantly, keep playing sports here at Packer and beyond. Um, but you're all into your craft, your teammates, your coaches. I know personally there's more for me to learn. I've had more joy playing sports here than I ever could imagine. Um, thank you all for making these like three or four years really, really special. Um, 